Should you be microdosing Redituta? Let's talk about it. Hey folks, just a quick reminder, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, I'm not an educator. This is entirely for entertainment purposes only. You shouldn't listen to anything I have to say. Definitely don't do anything that I did. I can only speak for myself and personal experience. Make sure that you listen to your doctors and your WHO overlords. That's it. Let's get to the video. Now, if you haven't seen the video circulating through Instagram, probably on TikTok and YouTube shorts, there's a doctor or someone that calls himself a doctor that had a video absolutely go viral because he was talking about the fact that you should not ever microdose red a true time. And I like his videos. I find them hilarious. He will get on every single day on YouTube and record a video for 45 minutes or so. And for about 30 minutes of the video, he berates his audience and the medical industry and just about anybody that opposes him in any way, shape or form. He flings insults, talks about how he's giving away all this information for free. And then he touts his paid programs. And then somewhere in there, he ends up injecting some good information. Now, occasionally he will throw out bits of information that just don't make any sense. For example, at one point, he said that Retta crosses the blood brain barrier. Now, I don't know where he came up with that. I searched absolutely everywhere I could to try to find some evidence of it. And essentially everything that I could find said that the molecule was simply too big, that there was no evidence saying that that was going on. Now the guy's making videos for 45 plus minutes every single day every single day and so he's gonna say some wild shit every so often and that was one of the things that he said but occasionally he drops really good information really interesting information as well it doesn't mean that you shouldn't look it up and verify it for yourself but he is entertaining to listen to and one of the shorts that he made from one of his 45 plus minute videos popped off on instagram now all of the bodybuilders came after him all of them. and he essentially said that hey i don't know why you're saying this but i've got this giant list of clients that have successfully microdosed redditruta and his argument was essentially that if you're microdosing it it's clearing out of your system too quickly for it to actually produce an ample effect in your body well what it comes down to is that we're talking about two different populations guys like vigorous steve who laughed at the idea that you shouldn't microdose retta they never get to 20 plus percent body fat they don't they've been lean for most of their adult lives. And that's true of most of the bodybuilding community. These guys and gals are specimens. They're, they're freaks. They're the 1% of the population. And for them, microdosing it to maybe one milligram or two milligrams a week split into several injections probably works really well for them. And they'll even say, I've talked to plenty of them. They will say, I got great appetite suppression. I don't know what you're talking about. I only took one milligram and that was enough for me not to be able to eat. Now, again, they are 1% of the population. So what are we doing for the other 99% of the population and the people that this drug was actually developed for? Now for us former fatties or current fatties and i can eat i can absolutely eat five six thousand calories per day without any problem i can pound down whole pizzas fast food on and on and on i could go i don't do it anymore but i can still and i did in the past for people like me microdosing retta does not work it doesn't work i need a full bulbous dose at the beginning of the week to get any kind of appetite suppression whatsoever. And even though it has a six day half-life, if I were to split it up into two or three injections, I just don't get enough in my system to suppress my appetite amply to not stay out of the food. I'm still going to want to sit down and eat and eat a whole bunch. That's not the case with terzepatide. With terzepatide, I take one bulbous dose or even microdose it throughout the week and it completely destroys my appetite. I just don't want to eat anymore. Reddit just doesn't work the same way. So to get that ample appetite suppression so you can actually get into a calorie deficit and have it do what it's supposed to do, that is make you lose weight, you got to take that big dose of the beginning of the week. Microdosing may work really great for bodybuilders. Guys that are at 12% body fat and they need to get down to eight. Guys that are at 8% body fat and are taking high doses of GH, for those guys, they're going to microdose and they're going to be successful at it. But you know what? They already have the discipline, they already have the mental fortitude, and they already have their appetites under control for the most part. These are guys that have never, at any point in their lives, walked around at 40 plus percent body fat. 
These are guys that get upset when they get a little pudger on their back and they call it, I look like the Michelin man. No, you don't dude. At no point do you ever look like the Michelin man. I don't care how fat you think you get. You don't look like the Michelin man. I have looked like the Michelin man. I see lots of people, the general public, the general population in America, go to any pool, go to any beach. Most of those guys look like the Michelin man. That's what fat looks like. You with huge biceps and I don't know, 12 to 15% body fat, you can still see abs. You're not the Michelin man. For you, microdosing works. For everybody else, all of the other 99% of the population, just take one big bulbous dope because that's what's going to work for you. That's the way the drug was developed. That's what's going to give you the appetite suppression. That's what's actually going to help you lose the weight, get your metabolism back in line and actually lose some body fat. So who's right and who's wrong? Well, depends on the person and the uh, alpha influencer or whatever the hell you want to call him. He's right for the general population. Like, Just take one big ball of this That's the way you should be taking. And for guys like Vigor, Steve and Tanner Tattered, yeah, it makes sense for them to microdose because they're a completely different subset of the population. They're not the regular general pot. They're not. I hope that doesn't sound like a bit of a cop out saying that, well, essentially everyone's right. And it depends on who we're talking about. But I can confidently say that if you're watching this or you happen to come across this video, you're probably not in that 1% because the way math works, 99% of the population is not in that 1%. And therefore, you should just be taking one big bulbous dough. It's the best way for it to work for you because you're not trying to shred from eight to 6% to get on stage. That's not you. You're at 35% body fat and you want to lose your gut. Take one big bulbous dough. Start at two milligrams, go to four and keep titrating up until you get the proper appetite suppression. Or if you struggle with appetite suppression, run to Zepatide or watch the video I made about it, comparing the two. Again, this was all hypothetically speaking, of course. Don't do anything I'm telling you to do. Don't take any unapproved drugs that have not been cleared by the FDA. That would be wrong. All right, that's all I got for you today. Bye.